And we're back in the game with some more Empire Total War Darth Mod, playing as the Kingdom of Sweden. Right, we're going after the Bavarians. Uh, luckily, the Austrians who were sitting around here have moved away. Good for us. Alright, anyone we need to retrain? Apparently so. We've got the money, so let's retrain them. Okay, you're being retrained. We actually have more troops that we can move over. We've got you coming over, and we've got you coming over. Alright, we've got a vast amount of money, and we're still recruiting some uh, unique units, aren't we? Up here. Alright, what's the uh, victory objectives? Okay, we need four named settlements. We have enough total settlements. We need Courland, which is right there. Uh, we need Brandenburg, which is over there. We need Poland, which is there. And we need Muscovy, where Moscow is located. And that's what we need for. Uh, so it means going to war against the Prussians and the Russians basically. Now we were going to try and take out Genoa because they've actually got a, a large army and fleet over in the Carabino. So we put them under siege here and if we actually wipe them out in Europe because they're a European faction it will wipe out all of their territory on the map. So we could go after them because they've got basically trash units so you know what, uh, this is the army where we've got those four weird units, uh, five weird units that have somehow ended up with too many troops in them. Uh, they're supposed to have 18, they're supposed to have 24 each, that's 60, and I think that's supposed to be 60 as well. Right, but they've ended up with too many troops. It's a bug I've seen in uh, Darth Maud before. Right, we shall jump in there. Wars are always fought for old men by young boys. So says Anon. Not QAnon, just Anon. Not a noun. Not an unknown, just Anon. Maybe someone out there really is called Anon. Wouldn't surprise me. Right, so this is that artillery, <laughs> I'm going to say regiment, because and actually, how many guns does it have? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight guns? Yes, eight. We've no need to even count them. Right, uh, yep, that's definitely weird. So, let's get our line infantry all lined up because that's what you do with line infantry now we need somewhere that's elevated because we have direct line of sight artillery I think if we put them maybe over here yeah right there for this battery which also has eight guns. Uh, you've got the regular amount of artillery pieces. So we'll put you up there. And do we have any grenadiers? I don't see any grenadiers. Okay, we've got a light infantry unit. I'll put them down here. They can defend this battery. We've got this big unit, nice big unit. Are they going to be able to see from there? Or do I actually need to move them forward? They cannot see, can they? Alright. Can they actually see from there? Um, they should be able to. Hopefully. And we'll stick you right up over here 
Now, who's going to guard this flank? We've got... Well, we've got a lot of heavy cav and dragoons. You know what? We'll put these two over here. That's two really big units. And we'll put you over here as well. And we're almost certainly within range with all of our artillery. Now they've got uh, mortars here, which will inflict some casualties. I guess we'll just move forwards. In fact, we'll split this up. We can shoot them if they come through the town, because they'll all be bunched up. I think we'll deploy the stakes right now. We'll move you over here. Rapido. Alright, we've got a small cavalry force rushing. That's moving fast, not rushing as in the nationality. Yeah, they thought better of it, didn't they? If we're actually firing on their units, we're going to be causing a lot of damage. I wouldn't want to be out there. Is that heavy cav? Provincial cav? Well, yeah, it's kind of like a militia unit, isn't it? Are we leaving anyone behind? Let's bring you over there. Yeah, they actually had defences back there. Well, they've pulled back from this uh, side. So, we'll move our units steadily forwards. Right, we will bring the light infantry up. Check our other cavalry. Alright, we are in fact firing. They did send their provincial horse in. We're doing quite a bit of damage, aren't we? Yeah, they tried it again over here and got decimated. Basically, not really losing anyone. I mean, I suppose we could start coming around. Ah, they actually sent out their artillery crews and got killed off. I wonder... Ooh, was that somebody wavering? Looked like one of our units was wavering. Try to get some howitzer of fire on that unit. Yeah, we were coming over here. Trying to put some pressure on this flank, weren't they? Well, we can squeeze through there. Let's bring up one infantry battalion behind this building. Bring the rest of those up. We come up here, we can get behind them, behind those barricades. I don't think these units will hold out for very long. Oh, 
Might be taking some fire from the armed citizenry, but they're not going to be doing too much damage. We're not even killing them, even though we're in close combat. Come on. Alright, Dragoons, get back from there. Yep, we've seen off all of those units. Nope, we're going to continue. But we're going to have to walk through there. No, where's that heavy cab? Let's see about running down as many as we can. That pathfinding through there will be absolutely terrible. So have the artillery stop firing. Yep, that's 200 men there. Let's try to get up to that one first. Get in there. No, we're going to have to be careful with this one. I'm going to have him move over there. Right, get in there and speed all of that. No. Well, we're going to catch up to some of them, not all. Quite a few men in that unit. Run them down. Starting to get a sore throat, I think. Too much shouting at the monitor whilst playing Total War. Not good. Well, that was easier than I thought. Now, um, we did have extra artillery. It's basically two extra artillery units. So, that helped. But yeah, the uh, all three branches did very well there. Only 257 men lost. And that should be the end of the nation of Genoa. Or Genoa? I don't personally. That was a joke, by the way. Not a particularly funny joke, but hey. Let's fix that up. There should be a port developing there at some point. Bastia. Um. Well, it's only bringing in 256, so if we do that, wow, Genoa has not developed this settlement. It might mean that we can get most of those units out and send them to the Bavarian front. <coughs> we did get peace with um, Venice and the Italian states in the last episode, didn't we? Uh, we're at war with Bavaria. That's, yep, indeed, the only one we're at war with. Okay, they are allied to Austria, Italians, Venice, and Hesse. Can we get an alliance with Hesse or Austria? We are already allied to the Austrians. That might force them to choose between the sides. Hessen, 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 Hessen. We are allied to them. Right, New Spain, they are friendly. They are unfortunately at war with Austria, Russia, Bavaria and the Dutch. Hmm, okay, well, won't be making any alliances with them. Marathas. Now, this is weird because 
probably about 60% of the time I've played this mod, um, the Mughals take over all of India, and about 40% of the time it's the Marathas. And we will, of course, be playing as both the Mughals and the Morathas at some point. Ottomans. God bless all those people who've watched my Ottoman campaign all the way up to turn 117. Yep, it's really gone that far. <laughs> it's been an amazing uh, campaign. Quite terrible, but also amazing. All right. 13 colonies, we should probably get an alliance with them. Let's sweeten the deal. Ah, you didn't want that. What if we give you agricultural technology? We might go for that and military access. 10 turns. You won't need it, but it's free to give it away. Alright. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give them... Can I give them a gift? Yeah. Okay, that made them very friendly. Would you like an alliance now? For some technology. Yeah, they're still not big fans of it. Okay, we've got a building there to upgrade. Uh, let's cycle through. See where we can upgrade anything. We've mostly done everything we can in the last episode. Yeah, I'm going to assume that we have. Right, how happy are you? Quite happy. We had to put some garrison troops in there. So, we actually have a general, don't we? So, I'm actually going to send him over to Sweden. Where you can take control of some troops. Nine and three. I'm going to get rid of you. Let's check our infrastructure everywhere. No, looking good. Yeah, that's everywhere. Were there any other buildings out in Corsica? No. Yes, there is. Probably a winery. Yeah. Birthplace of Napoleon Bonaparte. Okay, so we need to get as many troops up to the Bavarian front and have a battle. While well, they're quite depleted. I don't know what the Venetians are doing coming up here though. Okay, I've got some very nice units there. Let's get them coming down. Okay. Good, good, good. And then we'll be able to strike at the Prussians very soon from north, south, and west. Also, Northeast, if we come through Courland as well. We'll have to see who goes to war with us when we declare war on the Prussians and who sticks with us. Alright, we've got a new rake. We lost two, didn't we, in the last episode? I seem to remember having a few of them get killed. Now, yet another rake up here. Let's get you moving. That's only going to take him two turns. And are there any more unique units to recruit? 
this wheel you must be maxing out those unique units there dragoons my special kind of dragoon different from all other dragoons who can we recruit militia line infantry superior line of which we can have eight what about unique cavalry units okay it says we can have four of those and we've got two already okay that looks like a different kind of general's bodyguard where do we have them okay we can get one more of those more Drabant guards uh, lifeguard of horse we can have up to eight of those Oh, they're going to be interesting to see in battle. Trait has gained. Okay, uh, military technologies, and that's good. Check on that. Yeah, I don't think we want you doing that. That's going to take you 20 turns. Can we now get the Army Staff College Machined Rifling, that will give us Riflemen Yeah, that's going to take you far too long Well, even that will take you 17 turns Maybe I shall switch you over to doing something else Well, it looks like it's going to take you a long time to do anything basically 20 turns is the quickest you could get anything done I mean 17 17 hmm that will give us a new ship well how are you doing that So we've got a few units in France, we've got my Puckle Guns, Lovermore, Hayden, they're a fun unit. I suppose we could even get more Puckle Guns, there's a limit of 6, and that will max them out. We're not limited on artillery. Okay, these units, these um, armies are not fully replenished. I'm going to put you up there. So you need eight more units. Well, there's an artillery. What if we just do that so we can actually put some of those units in how much cavalry do you have? two okay hmm Nope, there are more units that can be merged up in there. Okay, four more. Probably all infantry. We have some unique units over here. Two, three. Let's throw in the uh, Native African troops. If we send them there, that's going to initiate a battle with this army and those as reinforcements. So I think that would be a good way to take out the Bavarians. And we'll probably do that at the start of the next episode. Seriously, that's the only building we got done? Hmm. 
Okay, well, I've got you sitting there. Ready to pick up those troops. Are you going to bring in more money? Not much. And it won't grow if we do that. We have now one ship, one our, um, army unit, and an army unit. Right. Let's bring you up here as well. Put you in there. Everyone is being retrained. They should be at full strength for the next episode. We've got uh, extra artillery. There's a rake in there, isn't it? Well, we got detected. Any more rakes that we could move? Nope, agents. Okay. He was successful. He's in Munich. You're in Austria. Okay, so let's see what their army looks like. Yeah, they got those really nice looking units, don't they? Unless they've got other armies out there, we are going to crush them. Crush them good. Alright, so it's up to 112. Can we get an alliance now? Yeah, they still don't want that. Right. Don't we... Uh, I was going to say, don't we have an army in Cuba? But no, we've brought that back. Or... Did we? I want to say we had a navy sitting around doing nothing. Let's look at the fleets. Number of ships. Mediterranean. Yeah, we got that one. We got that fleet. Is there somebody on there? Yep. I think there's somebody up there as well. Yep. Oh, their voices are very low. Right, well, we're set up to take out Bavaria at the start of the next episode. So, that's when we'll see you again.